Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome back to my channel. So as usual, before we get started into our meal prep today, I'm making myself a quick drink. I grabbed some ice cubes from these cool ice trays. If you have a refrigerator with a bottom drawer, these ice trays are awesome. I will make sure I link them below because they have lids. And then I had ordered a decaf Americano from Starbucks and so I dumped that into there. I added in my vanilla cream stevia drops that I love so much and I know you guys are probably tired of hearing about them because I use them literally every day in my coffee and then I added some half and half that's made by silk it makes such a creamy delicious creamer and then the first snack that we are going to make up today is a really delicious s'mores dip. This could not be any easier. And honestly, you can do this in any shape or size container as long as it can go into the oven. So the first thing you need to do is take some Hershey bars and break them up, put them in the bottom of your pan. You can make them as thick of a layer, as thin of a layer as you want. I just kind of made sure that the bottom of the pan was covered really well and also you could put any type of chocolate Hershey's is just my favorite and then after that I took regular marshmallows and you just want to kind of make a whole layer of those as well and again you could do different types of marshmallows I know they have so many different flavors right now and then you just put it in the oven at 400 and I think that was only in there for maybe about 10 minutes they can burn pretty quickly so you do want to keep your eye on them once they're ready you can pull them out and you're good to go and these stay pretty soft for a while so even if you put it out and people are eating at it at a party or something like that um, they can definitely serve themselves for a while and the marshmallows will still be soft I put some graham crackers some strawberries you could do a lot of different sweet options to dip into this dip and it's got the gooey texture and the great flavor without having to build a campfire. The next thing that I'm going to do is pull out my Cuisinmax food dehydrator and Cuisinmax is sponsoring today's video. We are going to make some apple chips and I actually prefer mine to be a little on the softer side so I will leave the recipe below for that option. With this food dehydrator you can make so many different types of snacks and it's so helpful for meal prep. It can preserve food for a long time and it's great for this time of year when you want to go camp you can make a lot of dry foods for backpacking and outdoor adventures. Not only can you dry fruit, you can dry flowers, and you can dry meat and make beef jerky or any other type of jerky. You can dry nuts and something else that's really neat that I would personally like to try out is you can make pet treats as well. With the detachable trays, it's really simple to clean and the trays are dishwasher safe. With the 360 evenly dehydrating, it retains a natural flavors of food without additives or preservatives. There are two ways to place the trays for different size foods. Also on the front there is a place to adjust the temperature and the length of how long you want to be dehydrating your food. If you guys want to check out this food dehydrator you can click on the link in the description box and find out more information there. In this video, I tried to include some recipes that are family friendly and easy to whip up since obviously kiddos are getting out of school right now and those sorts of things. You guys know that I generally gravitate towards a lot more healthy recipes, 
but I do know that mamas need a lot of ideas right now for kids, so I'm going to try to start to incorporate more things that are simple and quick into my videos. So these are some pizza rolls that literally take no time at all, and I feel like kind of give a personal touch, even though it's made with pre-made pizza crust. So all you have to do is unroll the pizza crust, put some spices, I use some Italian seasoning and some garlic powder and some salt. And then I put some freshly shredded mozzarella. You guys know in my kitchen, I always shred my own cheese. I just feel like it melts so much better than the pre-shredded. And then I did chop up some pepperoni as well to put on top of everything. And you could add in other types of toppings that would go on pizza into this. But if you just want a quick and simple version, this is it. After you've rolled up your big log, you just want to take and slice it. I think I put it about mm, around an inch um, was the slices and then you just pop it in the oven. Also I did want to insert a clip here of when the apples were done. I did not put them to a complete crisp texture. I wanted them to be a little bit soft and easy to chew. And then here is the finished product with the pizza rolls as well. And then I just served it up with some pizza sauce. It is easy to dip in and go. And I think people of all ages love this style of a snack. The next snack is going down the healthy line and that is some cucumber bites. My daughters actually love cucumbers a lot, so they really enjoyed these. But I just took a block of cream cheese, I added in some spices for flavor, dill is always something I love to work with, personally love the flavor of dill. And then I took a handful of some parsley and chopped it up really well. I wanted this to have a really green and very herby looking look to the filling so I made sure I had a lot of green in there and I mixed it all up with my hand mixer. Next I chopped up the cucumber and I did kind of make them pretty chunky chops and after that I took a spoon and kind of scooped out the middle to be able to put the filling inside. Okay, so I went a sweet direction for this one and I decided to make up some Buckeyes. If you guys don't know what those are, I think a lot of people know what they are, but um, they resemble obviously what the name is, a Buckeye, but the inside is mainly peanut butter and I did put some almond flour in with it and also some vanilla and some powdered sweetener. But again, you could kind of play around with the inside of it and there are lots of recipes on Pinterest that would use regular sugar or flour or those types of things. So you make the filling first and you mix it all up and then since there's a lot of oil in the peanut butter, it's very simple to kind of make a dough consistency where you roll it up into a ball and then you put them into the refrigerator or freezer um, to kind of just make them really cold and make sure that they're as solid as possible. If you grew up eating Buckeyes, I would love to hear in the comments if this was something that was a staple in your house, especially around Christmas time, going along with Christmas cookies. 
Next, I set up a little double boiler situation and just put one of my Amazon glass mixing bowls on top of one of my little um, saucepans. And I put a, about a tablespoon of coconut oil in with some stevia sweetened chocolate chips. Then all you have to do is take a toothpick into your cold um, peanut butter balls and just dip it right into the chocolate. And as you can see, the finished product up there kind of gives a buckeye look. That's the idea is you leave a little space at the top where you can see the peanut butter and that is the traditional look of these little treats. These turned out so delicious and I would highly recommend storing them in the refrigerator or you could even put them in your freezer as well. I know that there's something that I store in my freezer just because um, it made a nice batch and then I can pull them out whenever I want to eat them. Okay, so this is something I have wanted to try to make for a long time and that is some air fried buffalo cauliflower bites and I am personally someone that loves buffalo wings so this is a version of it that I have seen different places and have really wanted to try. So you just mix some oil in with your hot sauce then you want to give yourself kind of a breading coating and I think you could also use any type of breadcrumbs or even panko breadcrumbs I think would be really good with this. I always like to give you guys different options for gluten free options or even dairy free which if you don't add the blue cheese to this, this could definitely be a dairy free option as well. So you want to tear up your cauliflower and uh, like I always say, I avoid using knife as much as I can on broccoli and cauliflower just so that it doesn't break into a million pieces and make a big mess in my kitchen. So I ripped it up with my fingers and then I dumped the whole batch into my air fryer and just let them air fry. And really these were so simple to make. I'm definitely going to be making these a lot now that I've found out how to make them and how easy it really was. And then I topped it with some hot sauce and some blue cheese crumbles. I hope this video gave you guys some great snack ideas, inspiration and that you can incorporate into your next meal prep. And if you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. I put out lots of cooking inspiration videos and if you want to leave me a comment below, that always helps me out. Don't forget to give this video a like and I will see you guys in my next video.